Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we are in week four, game number two. Northern Colorado Bears looking for their first victory on the season. They are 0-3, taking on the 1-0 Cornell Big Red out of the Big East. Now this team has some talent. they got a couple good defensive ends and a couple nice receivers and a couple nice defensive backs. Now after that, the quarterback has a 62 overall. And after him, the roster is kind of depleted. But let's see who the guys think will win this football game. I'll see you guys down on the field here in a minute. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Cornell Big Red and the Bears. There's going to be some exciting NCAA action here. It just seems like this season's getting more and more intense with each week. And here come the Bears. The Big Red come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Cornell has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career game. Nice pick, Kirk. Watch out, Kirk. I'm taking Cornell. <laughs> I just got to wonder, where do you get those things? Helmets, mascot heads? I mean, every game is something new. So the guys think the Bears secondary is going to get torched today, which is kind of surprising, but there is a great completion already. But the secondary for the Bears is the strong part of the defense. But I'm hoping they're wrong. Because they're already off to a good start, the Big Red. With a huge completion down the field. Now they're on the 10-yard line. Toss play to Mason left side. And he's going to cut it back to the right. And what an amazing run. Just fantastic vision from the halfback. Gets it left side and sees that there is nobody on the right. And takes it back that way for the score. Cornell scores quickly, and here's Darius Mitchell in the open field. Needed one more block, but the humongous safety comes through and saves the touchdown. Cross play to Mitchell, right side. They get a block on the safety this time in the open field. Down past the 20 and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Mitchell with two 20-plus yard runs already, and here's Aaron Tavares up the middle. He'll pick up eight yards. Third and one. Mitchell, left side, he's going to showboat into the end zone. Easy touchdown for Northern Colorado. They are 0-3 on the season, but their ground game has been fantastic. These two halfbacks have been really fun to watch, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do for the rest of the year. As that pass should have been picked off by Bully Cooper, but Humphrey comes away with it. McKinney, five consecutive completions for Cornell. Third and 10 now, McKinney's gonna have to take a shot again here. Hit as he throws it, and Cooper can't deflect it. He went for the pick and a deflection, all in the span of a split second, and couldn't get the ball away either time. Second and six from the eight yard line, McKinney going towards the end zone here. Marshall crushed as he spins away from another tackle. Makes it third and three. Mason up the middle. He'll get it to the one-yard line. Very close to having a second rushing touchdown. But they're going to finish it off with a fullback dive into the end zone. 14-7 is now the score. Cornell on top of the Northern Colorado Bears. Now the Bears have had the toughest schedule so far in this dynasty, facing three ranked opponents. And last week they got absolutely demolished by Boise State on the blue turf. Darrell stats, high snap, he corrals it, goes over to the middle. Howard Bresnagale catches it, but he puts the ball on the turf. He fumbled it away, and Cornell takes over at their own 35-yard line, looking to take a two-score lead here in the second quarter. What a hit by the safety, and that is a huge safety. Second and one from their own 44-yard line. Mason throws the ball down the field to the 43-yard uh, line. So even the halfbacks completing some passes, and that ball should have been picked off by Bully Cooper right over his hands. Robinson comes away with the touchdown reception. 44-yard touchdown pass from McKinney. And let's take another look here, see how close it was to being picked off. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Fingertips. So close. It's plays like that that makes me feel bad for Northern Colorado. 
Stats on the option, and he gets crushed after a two-yard pickup. And the Bears are going to go for it on fourth and four. They are with us on the season. They might as well go for it, and they will pick it up. And Terrell Stats runs over the cornerback out of bounds. Third and 11. Stats rolling around right side. And he's going to throw it out to Smith, who slides for the reception and the first down pickup. Mitchell right side handoff past midfield and gets taken out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Second and eight option play here from Northern Colorado. Stats in the open field needed one more block, and he might have scored. And he's going to take a shot here now. Pressured, almost sacked. Goes downfield, and Bresnagale cannot make the block. Third and three, Gavin Brady up the gut, following his blocker inside the five down the two yard line. A fantastic run by the big fullback. Following the lead blocker, Smokey Callahan, the big tight end. Just a great play all around. First and goal from the two yard line. Darius Mitchell is going to coast into the end zone for an easy two yard touchdown run. One of the easiest scores he'll have all season. Mason crushed in the backfield on third and inches. And Northern Colorado gets a huge stop here with less than a minute to go in the second quarter. They got one timeout left, just enough time to get something going here and maybe score before the half. Darius Mitchell on the punt return, gets the edge. He's on the sideline, past the 40, and he's going to take it the distance. Touchdown Bears, Darius Mitchell with an 80-yard punt return. Third and 10 for Cornell, 20 seconds remaining. They're going to take a shot deep down the middle, deflected away by Deacon Cooper. And the Bears have enough time to do something else with the football. Let's see what they can do. Here's Darius Mitchell on another punt return from his own 28-yard line. Gets away from the first guy and just steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. So close. Last play of the first half. Stats pulls up, throws it deep to the end zone. He's got Eric Tavares in the end zone for the touchdown. But they're going to call holding, so it doesn't count. Sebastian Hernandez, the center, gets called for the penalty. And that is going to do it for the first half. Michael Topps, the head coach, not happy with the referee right there. And his team should have had a 28-21 lead. Both teams very close when it comes to stats. And here's Darius Mitchell, right side. He gets stuffed, maybe a one-yard gain on the first play of the second half. He's up to 75 yards today with two touchdowns. Gavin Brady breaking a tackle. He'll pick up 15 yards, and he's got 41 yards on the ground. Second and 15. Stats with a nice play fake, or play action, pump fake, whatever you want to call it. Hits Smokey Callahan at the 14-yard line. Took me a little bit to find out what I was actually trying to say right there, but that was still a great catch by Smokey Callahan. His first of the day. Darius Mitchell loose inside the five, taken down by the face mask. So that'll get him a little bit closer to the end zone, and that'll allow Gavin Brady to punch it in for his first career rushing touchdown, and that gives the Bears the lead. I think that's the first lead they've ever had this season. 28-21 over the Big Red. And this pass should have been picked off by Bully Cooper. But the Bears get the ball back anyway. And here's Gavin Brady on the fullback off tackle. Following blocking down the field. Great blocks. And he is caught from behind. He is not the fastest player in the world. But he gets it all the way inside the 10-yard line. Again, just great blocking. You see Mike Heath down there. Star lineman making a block. About 20 yards downfield. Darrell Stats going to take off, and he's going to high step into the end zone for a touchdown. Now the Bears with a two-score lead, folks. Looking for their first win on the season. Michael Topps had this offense prepared today. And the defense has stepped it up in the past quarter and a half. And here's McKinney going to take a shot. He is sacked instead at the 20-yard line. He held on to the football way too long. He had three receivers down the field on the right side against Bully Cooper and just took too long to pull the trigger. And the Bears will get the ball back. Gavin Brady picks up seven more yards. He's got 85 yards rushing today on seven carries with one touchdown. Second and four. Swain wide open on the left side. Hits him in full stride past the 40, the 30, the 20. Gets a block downfield and gets it to the 12-yard line. An amazing run after the catch. And Eric Tavares is going to punch it in for the score and make it a 42-21 lead here in the third quarter. The
Bears starting to pour it on a little bit. Tavares is pumped. It's always nice to put on a show in front of your home crowd. And here's Mason on the right side. And in the open field, still going past the 40. Deacon Cooper finally tracks him down inside the 30-yard line. And that run will put Mason over the 100-yard mark on the season. And here's Mason again. He'll pick up 12 in a first down. Averaging 10.6 yards per carry today. McKinney on the option. He'll pick up 10 yards. Very close to the first down marker. Second in inches. Play action. McKinney is sacked back at the 10-yard line. That'll make it third and five. Last play of the third quarter. Bully Cooper misses, but Deacon Cooper lays a thunderous hit. And he's going to recover the fumble that he forced. So on the same play, he forces his first career fumble. And he recovers his first career fumble. Outstanding effort by Deacon Cooper. I think Bully missed that tackle on purpose. That'll give the Bears the ball to two yard line. Here's Darius Mitchell, juking, spinning, and he's gonna give the ball right back to Cornell here at the six yard line. Very unfortunate. Third and goal though from the two yard line. Bully Cooper gets the stop on Mason. That's gonna make it fourth and goal as Mason is stopped from 100 yards rushing today. They're gonna go with a pass play. McKinney right side almost intercepted by Deacon Cooper. That's his fourth pass deflection, but the Bears get the ball at their own one yard line. Gavin Brady with a spin move. Gets it up to the 27. What a move by the big guy. I did not think I'd ever see Gavin Brady spin out of safety. But then he got chased down by a linebacker, so it kind of evened out. Stats on the option. He'll pick up 10 yards on a first down. This rushing attack just continues to dominate. Play action to Tavares. Stats going to roll right. He's got Morris wide open. Jukes, a man dove and missed. One guy to beat. And it's the giant safety who gets stiff-armed into oblivion. Morris is gone. That's going to make it a 49-21 game right now after a 62-yard touchdown pass from Darrell Stats to Morris. Look at this stiff arm. Look at how big this guy is. He's about 6'6". Six six. Unbelievable play from Morris. 3rd and 10 now, though, for Cornell as they're looking to get something going. They take a deep shot to the end zone, picked off by Deacon Cooper. His first career interception. He's got the trifecta today. One fumble recovery on his own forced fumble and an interception. What a performance from him. His defense came to play in the last three quarters. First quarter, not so much. Well, maybe first quarter and a half. And the Bears trying to run the clock out. Here's Tavares right side in the open field. Past the 30, past the 40, and down to the 44-yard line. His first 20-yard run of the game, I believe. Second and five, less than two minutes to go. Tavares, right, left side, up to the 43-yard line of Cornell. And the Bears got 335 on the ground. Outstanding. And Tavares is actually going to get called for a personal foul taunting penalty here, make, making it a second and 20 down right now. And Stats is going to pitch it out to him on the option. And there is not a defender in sight until the end zone, but he dives for the pylon and the score. 53-yard touchdown run for Eric Tavares. Very easy play. It was two on two, but the safety was the second guy, and he didn't get there until the goal line. It was far too late. That's going to make it 56-21 to with a minute to go. And the backups are now in for Cornell and Longshore. The backup quarterback is sacked way back at the two-yard line, making it second and 17. Now third and 14, Longshore pressured, and he fumbles the football, and it's recovered by the Bears' defense, and that is going to put an end to this ball game. 63 to 21, dominating performance for the Bears as they now go into their Pac-10 football conference play, and that will be against. Uh, well, you'll see later on in the video. That's going to do it, folks. 63-21. The Bears get their first victory on the season. They beat undefeated Cornell. They were only 1-0, but still, that's undefeated. 63-21. And I believe that was 56 unanswered points that they scored on the Big Red. Rushing ta attack today, phenomenal. Defense, phenomenal. They held Cornell to less than 100 yards rushing. 
and less than 200 passing. Darrell Stats, 5 of 6 today. 168 yards, one touchdown. And wasn't sacked at all. We sacked Cornell four times, two on the last drive, forcing a fumble and scoring on it. We did have two fumbles ourselves. Zero punts today for the Bears. Five penalties for 70 yards, though. They need to clean that up. 768 total yards for Northern Colorado, and that was 56 unanswered points. Phenomenal performance in the last two and a half quarters. If they play like that the rest of the season, they're not going to lose again. Real stats, 5-6, 168, one touchdown, no picks, 83 completion percentage, a long of 62. Three players over 100 yards rushing today. Gavin Brady led the team with 111 with one touchdown. Eric Taveras of Bucko, three, two touchdowns. Darius Mitchell of Bucko, two, two touchdowns. And Darrell Stats very close to 100 as well with 77 yards and a touchdown. Anyone that ran the ball today scored at least one touchdown. I love it. We had seven 20-plus yard runs today, four broken tackles. Darius Mitchell had the fumble, and of course he lost it. Smokey Callahan, Howard Bresengale, both with a reception today, but Chip Morris, sophomore wide receiver, had that 62-yarder where he stiff-armed the 6'6 safety. One drop to Smokey Callahan, 10 pancakes for Mike Heath, 6 for Will Jefferson, 6 for Sebastian Hernandez. Howard Bresnagel had 3, Smokey Callahan with 2, and Chip Morris chipped in with 1. Bully Cooper, 8 tackles, Deacon Cooper with 5. Bully had one for a loss. Deacon Cooper, of course, had an interception, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Gavin Brady with two tackles. Tavares with one. And that is it for our subscriber players on defense, I believe. Bunch of sacks today. Four. Deacon Cooper's first career pick. He had four deflections as well. Gavin Brady was out there playing some linebacker. He had two deflections. Holy Cooper with one deflection. Two force fumbles today. Deacon Cooper, of course, and the fumble recovery. One defensive touchdown for Robbie Harris. One kick return for Howard Bresengale. Three for Darius Mitchell in 83 yards, along with 48. And Mitchell, of course, had the 80-yard punt return for a touchdown, the first of his career. Here are the top three players for both teams. Cornell was ranked 27th going into that game, so if they won that, they might have been ranked. Our next Bears game will be a Week 5 matchup against Eastern Washington. That should be a fun one. Our next game that will be out tomorrow is San Diego traveling to in-city rival San Diego State. They're ranked 19th in the country. That will be a fun matchup. And I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. I hope to see you in the comments section below on this video. But until tomorrow, take it easy, guys.